Hi, I'm Kane, the Senior Research Officer on the Severn and Avonvale Curlew Project. The UK holds a quarter of the world's Eurasian curlew population, yet in changing landscapes they're increasingly unable to rear chicks. The number of breeding birds have declined by up to 65% since the 1970s, and numbers here in the Severn and Avon Vale, along with elsewhere in Lowland Britain, are particularly low. The project is now in its third year, and we've been monitoring breeding pairs and tracking individuals. In 2019, the weather was particularly bad, and many of our pairs were flooded out. However, in that wet year of 2019, we did head start 50 curlews from WWT Slimbridge. Head starting involves our trained aviculturalists heading into the wild to collect curlew eggs from nests. They carefully take the eggs and incubate them until they hatch, away safely from predators and agricultural machinery. In the wild, less than 10% of curlew eggs get through to fledging stage. Therefore, our head started birds are being given the best possible start to their lives. Curlews are relatively long-lived birds and this is one of the reasons why the problem, the decline, has gone undetected for so long. Sadly, in 2020, monitoring was hampered by the COVID pandemic. However, in 2021, we had the amazing news that one of our head started birds had returned to the area and successfully raised a chick with a wild bird. Monitoring this year is well underway and we're really excited to have found four of our head started birds have returned to the area and we're really looking forward to following their progress over the coming months. Over the last few days, the team have been out trying to catch curlews so that we can equip them with GPS tracking devices. By using these tags, we're able to get an incredibly personal insight into the daily lives of these curlews, along with finding their nests so that we can help to better protect these against predators. Although the catching of birds for the fitting of rings and transmitters may come across as a bit intrusive, these bits of kit are absolutely crucial if we're to better understand and save this iconic wetland species. Recently we've caught a curlew that we've named Carl, also known as Yellow AL after its leg ring. We've named it Carl after the local farmer whose land we caught it on. Farmers are the guardians of curlews and play an important role in securing the future of this well-loved species. We thought it was only too right to name our curlews after the supportive farmers who help our project. There is also another issue that curlews are up against. Like other wading species, they are grown nesting birds and the survival of their eggs and chicks are very much dependent on evading predation. As the breeding season progresses, we're going to be using drones with thermal imaging devices attached to them to help us locate curlew nests. We have a large team of volunteers on standby who will help us process the imagery and hopefully identify hotspots in the field that we can check for curlew nests. As soon as we find a curlew nest, we can then get a nest fence around it to help protect it from predators. We'll also be placing out motion sensored cameras to help us build up a picture of predator abundance in our study area. Soon we'll be finding nests with eggs and hopefully in the not too distant future we'll also be finding chicks. These will be fitted with leg rings and radio tags so that we can follow their progress to fledging. <laughs>